Hi. Living in the present moment is a journey, not a destination. Even now, after all the insights and wisdom I have collected and gathered, I find myself caught in the allure of future planning, dreaming, and sometimes worrying about what's next. It takes conscious effort, daily practice, and a gentle reminder to myself to slow down, breathe, and truly embrace the here and now. Join me as we explore the wisdom of living fully in the present moment, guided by the teaching of the Stoics and Alan Watts, and learn together how to find fulfillment in the simple joys of life. In a world driven by the pursuit of more, we often lose sight of the present moment. Let's explore how to reconnect with reality and find fulfillment in the here and now. The rush of life. We are all in a hurry, whether it's for coffee in the morning or the next big thing in life. But this rush often leads to dissatisfaction. As Alan Watts once said, All people who are in a rush are not related to the material present. It's a punishment for being in a hurry. The illusion of future happiness. We often think that happiness lies in the future, in possessions, or achieving goals. But this pursuit can become a delusion. Again, Alan Watts. The possession of all this great food, this kind of car, this kind of house, doesn't make people happy at all. They feel cheated. The importance of the present. The eternal now is where reality resides. It's not about what's next, but about embracing what's here. It's about appreciating the simple joys, the connections, and the beauty of life as it unfolds. There is nothing missing at all, except that we are not all there, as they say. The art of lovemaking. Lovemaking, too, is an art that requires presence and connection. Lovemaking is not just a means to an end, but an expression of presence and connection. It's an art that requires mindfulness and enjoyment of the moment. That there could be a real great art as between lovers is something we don't consider. Stoicism and Contentment Stoicism, an ancient philosophy, teaches us to focus on what we can control and to find calm in life's uncertainties. It's about being a good human being and finding peace in the present. In life, you can't control everything that happens to you, but you can control how you see it. Focus on what you can control and let go of the rest. Conclusion The key to fulfilling life lies in slowing down, in recognizing the illusions that keep us from fulfillment, and in embracing the present moment. Whether in love, work, or daily living, let's learn to be fully present and find contentment in the now. Whether it's the food we eat, the love we share, or the way we approach life, the key lies in embracing the present moment. Let's learn to appreciate what we have, to cook with love, to make love with presence, and to live with contentment. It's all here, but nobody is here to see it. Everybody is wandering after something else in the distance. If you found these thoughts helpful, please like this video and share your thoughts in the comments. Subscribe for more content like this, and until next time, take care of yourself and those around you.